Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 13, the Python screencast that may be recorded for quality control and training purposes. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about documentation strings. So we've touched on this before, but documentation strings are a way of documenting a class or a definition. So let's take a look. Let's create a function called my function. It doesn't take any variables. And if you put a bare word, if you put a, uh, a string literal at the top of a function, this will be interpreted as the doc string. So the way that you're supposed to create a doc string is to just have a brief sentence about what this function does. Do nothing but document it. Uh, that should be a single sentence and should end in a period, should begin with a capital letter. After that brief synopsis, you should have a blank line, and then you can put whatever other descriptions about how this function is used. Um, multiple paragraphs, whatever you need. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you see I've used the triple quotes, and that means I can do multi-line comments in here, multi-line strings, and I will end it right there. And then let's go ahead and create what the actual work is of the function, pass. So it really doesn't do anything. So now we have the definition my function created, um, and what Python automatically did, just because we had that string literal, is it created a new attribute of that function called underscore underscore doc underscore underscore. So if we look at my function dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore. In Python the underscore underscore attributes are normally meant to be hidden but we're going to directly access it for, for this case. And you see there's this string that comes right along with with my function. And actually we could print that to make it a little bit prettier. Do nothing but document it. Now the reason doc strings are important is because they can be used by all kinds of different um, tools, IDEs. In this case we're using IPython. So if I typed in my function and then just hit question mark and hit enter, you see I'm giving the type of the function, the base class, namespace, and then down at the bottom doc string. So this is a really great way of getting documentation about just about anything that you're interested in. Um, uh, so if I had like a list, my list equals one, two, three. My list dot sort question mark. Now I can see exactly how sort is used with a little example. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.